Hey everybody, it's time for me to do a weekly plan with me. I feel like I haven't done one of these videos in forever, but I think I did a bunch of them last month. Anyway, uh, this week, as you'll have seen in last week's flip through video, um, I am using the Mun Weeklies from My Summer Touch. And I'm actually really, really loving this system way more than I expected to. Um, let me move this out of the way. This is just a little jot pad uh, with the meals that I have. Actually, I'm going to set this over here because I'm going to move that to somewhere better. Um, meals that we have ingredients for. I can cross out tacos because that's what we had tonight. So I've been in here for the last two weeks. You'll see the way it kind of folds out and you can see the whole month here. So week one looked like this. Week two looked like this. It's a little messy, but it's like functional and I like it. Um, it feels kind of lived in. But this week I feel like I need to arrange things hopefully a little bit more roomily. Um, because let me show you, like this week, the first week, I had here this column where the different parts of the day I assigned like what I was going to work on because I had two videos and a podcast episode I wanted to do. This week it was two videos and a blog post, um, but I just kept like writing the wrong thing, crossing it out, whiting it out. It's just, it's super messy and I felt like it wasn't making as much sense to my brain. Um, I kept looking at it and it I would have to like consciously think about what it meant, which is not the point of it. The point of it is to be able to quickly see what's there. Um, and yeah, I, I feel like I need to spread it out, maybe turn it like right side up <laughs> instead of sideways. Anyway, so what we've got for this week, because every week is slightly smaller, as you see, um, this week we've got the like each day on the fold out just on the fold out. Then we have just a page here, um, this page here, and then this little tab folded out here, which is the back of next week's. Um, but it's not a whole page. So normally like this last week I use that for dailies, but I don't want to put dailies here because then, you know, it's just half of a page basically. So I'm thinking that I can use this for something and then put to do's here and events here and maybe put the things from the column um, like here. So let us begin. I've already picked out a couple things here. I've got the stickers from the Happy Planner. Um, so I'm going to take this guy. It says me time, but I'm going to cover that. Um, basically I just want something with little check boxes because this is going to be where I keep track of those meals that I have ingredients for. Now, as you see here, there's three that I have ingredients for right now. I can go, I have to go get more groceries because our milk is expiring this weekend. So we need to get more milk or something else too. Gosh, I'll have to try to remember what that was. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be cooking Sunday night. If I'm going to be cooking one of these or not. So I think I'm just going to keep actually keep this here where it was. All right. And then the plan here is I'm grabbing one of these what's for dinners. Um, I'll go ahead and grab the yellow one since the theme for this month's colors green and yellow and this the idea of this is it's like a half box to go in your happy planner and like actually write what's for dinner one specific day but I'm just gonna trim off the actual box part all we're gonna have is the header here that says what's for dinner I may save this for something let's see and it'll just look like this oh, 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 ah. Didn't cover everything. No, no, yeah, actually, I kind of do want it there. Okay, I'll center it a little bit more. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. There we go. What's for dinner? So we've got green and yellow. 
and it's just a header. And I'll be able to put the meals that I have, and then I will be able to just check them off once we've cooked them and know what we have ingredients for. And then my thought here is to use this section for the project planning thingies, the video checklist and all that. Um, so I'm thinking, do we want a header for that? I think I might have something. Let's see. They stopped working for me. Um, the idea of, of these stickers is like, here's your goal for the week, your one thing to focus on. But instead, it was basically a little box that I could put that important thing in and then ignore it. Um, so that's not super useful. Got these little flags that I never really use. So I could use those. Um, don't need these. All of these stickers are from Twin16, like my favorite shop nowadays. I'm basically the only shop I <laughs> get stickers from. I just got a new order. And she is super sweet. She remembers me. Like, I don't know if she just keeps track, but I am super touched that she remembered me and included a little note, a little freebie, loyalty freebie. It was super, super sweet. All right, so it's just gonna say projects. Because there might be other projects, but basically it's, it's videos. She just put videos. What if I put from this section here? Here we go. More of these. Um, brown or the light? This lightest one. Nope. Put a skew. There we go. Look at that. Just made be do Okay. And then just check here we have one, two, three, four, and then a space. One, two, three, four, space. One, two, three, four. All right, we're good. Put Thursday. That's this one. So I have to film, which I'm doing now. Edit. And then I'm just writing meta, basically meaning like all of the stuff, uh, you know, descriptions, tags, all of that. And then I still need to do some prep work for Sunday's video. So that gets a checkbox too. All right, so having this little folded out bit means that I can leave it, leave it like this and see the whole thing at once. Or I can have it like this and just look at this bit and this bit and ignore this. I think this is gonna be maybe dailies here and then starting on these pages will be dailies. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it out, just let the ink dry just in case and then move back over here. So I think, I don't know if there's any stickers I need specifically. I'm kind of looking through them right now. Um, let me check my monthly. I don't think I have anything there, but here we go. Okay. Yes. It's my mother-in-law's birthday and uh, that's, it. That is entirely the only thing. I'm getting to a point in my planning where I feel like I don't have a lot of things that I need to be doing any given minute, which is weird. But I think what that means is I need to clean a lot. Maybe that would be a thing to put an important sticker for. 
Um, I want to focus on cleaning this week because there's been a lot of things that have gotten ignored lately. And I just want to see if I can focus a little bit on a couple things. And do like one task every day, you know? Use the same caps. Green. All right. And I think maybe throw in a little uh, motivational face. going to be this little grumpy face just telling me to get it done and then I'm also going to pull out the stamping stuff because I've got these little cleaning stamps that I have kind of misplaced actually Here they are. These are from Starving Artist Stamps. The ST is shared um, on Etsy and they're super cute little cleaning icons. So I'm going to be using this this week in addition to probably the little um, video production logos and stuff like that for these columns. This is, this is the idea that I have here. So I'm going to take some washi maybe how's how's this this is the idea split it sort of like this I'm only going to split it all the way down through the work week uh, because I leave my weekend free for fun things, family things, you know? It's a little bit tight. All right, I'll move that over a little bit. Fortunately, wash is pretty forgiving. These little tiny skinny washies are from Night Owl Washi on Etsy. I got these forever ago. The idea here, instead of having three columns, I have two, um, I think the first column is morning and lunch because I don't have a lot of time to do a lot of stuff during the morning and then I'll sort of assign. So the idea is to clean something in the morning and to do a sort of video production or, or related uh, task in the afternoon and evening. So if I finish the cleaning early, I can maybe film at lunch, but like, I think that's the idea here. All right, I'm going to just quickly use one stamp to signify the idea of cleaning to me. Let be a broom, maybe, or come on, I don't need to spend forever making this decision. The broom, because I don't think I'm going to need to use the broom because we got a robot vacuum. And I'll be telling you more about that in Sunday's video. So stay tuned for that, our quick little review. All right, so this is just, don't forget to clean. All right, then I'm going to take some kind of washi, this one I think, or maybe yellow, yellow, I'll make sure I have enough of both, grab the card I used to cut it with, oh it's in here, I thought for a second it wasn't in here, this is 
going to go across here. Uh, what am I doing? Right. Oh, excellent. All right, and so I've got another order of stickers from a different shop. Little to-do headers that haven't shipped yet. And I kind of hope that they'll come sometime this week. Um, and that will go here. I'll just say to do. Actually, you know what? Forget that. I have, I have this out. I'm going to pull one from here. Ignore that, though I do have stickers coming. All right. Uh, there's just so many pages in here. It's hard to find the ones you're looking for. And then by the time you get to the end, you forget what you've seen already. Here we go. This is the one. Uh, do we want all of the green? I guess. There we go. So it just says to do. Perfect. Lovely. Look at that. So this will be just a to do list, generally, for the whole week. Um, and there's nothing that I feel like I want to add to that this minute. I'm sure things will come up. And I'm not going to assign anything to these sections either, um, but that will definitely be getting used. So I think that's it. Um, are there any other like events? I guess there's... No, I don't even know if we're going to the library on Tuesday. You'll see here, so I'm not really sure how I like this. Um, like which way I like this. So you'll see the first week here, we had swim lessons every evening and I put it far over to the left. Um, the next week you'll see like nothing in this far left column except travel here and um, like all day events here, but then like the actual events, going to the library, going to mass, the wedding we're going to are behind the next week so that they're hidden when I'm seeing the whole month. Whereas that's not what I did here. So I don't really know. I guess, honestly, there's no room to hide because if I hit it here, there's only like four blocks. So I'm just going to write library and then we can cross it out if we're do not going to the library because we'll just be celebrating my mother-in-law's birthday with probably dinner, probably at their house, probably super simple. Um, and I don't know if we're going to the library before that, if she wants to come along or what. So play that by ear. The rest of the week, I don't think we have any plans, though you know how that always ends up. Um, probably end up <laughs> making plans and not having time for anything fun. All right, I think that that is it for right now. Um, I'm, I'm liking this. I don't think I can get, can I barely, just barely get the whole thing in the frame. There's my weekly, that's my weekly setup. I um, am actually planning this on Friday evening because, as mentioned, we're going to a wedding. And so I wanted to have this like ready to go. I like having my week set up a little bit early so that as like I'm on the weekend and I'm thinking of things that I need to do the next week or places that we need to go the next week, um, I'll have somewhere to write that down. So as I think of to do's, I'll put them here, events, I put them here. And um, then once I know exactly what we still have in the cupboard come the end of Sunday, I'll fill this out. And then um, I guess in the meantime, I can cross this. That's one thing done already. Thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this, go ahead and subscribe because I do post videos every Thursday and Sunday and you can see what's coming up there. Um, and in the meantime, have a great uh, rest of your week. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.